I think we are in this really interesting place in a product life cycle where, you know, you've got this sort of like, there's the early, there's the innovator, and then there's this chasm that companies have to cross. And I think this is take AI, for instance, it's sort of crossing this chasm right now of getting into kind of like the early adopter, early majority, late majority and the laggards. Sure. And there's this bell curve, right? Where do you think we're at on that bell curve? I, I don't know. I actually think we're crossing the chasm, you know, because you, you think about it, like what you just said is like, I don't know if I've seen a technology um, go this far this fast yeah. with AI. Like it was, it is remarkable. Like think about, you know, you got Bard, you know, chat GPT, others, right? People started using chat GPT and it freaking worked. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Not a, that doesn't happen a lot. You know what I mean? Where it's a new technology and people are kind of laughing at it, scoffing at it, and then it starts to pick up momentum and things like that. But you use it and it freaking works, yeah. you know? And so I'm, I, I actually think we're crossing the chasm and crossing it really, really fast. And you have, because of it just working, it, it has gotten some noise. It's gotten some attention. And now everybody, businesses are like, how do we use that? Or people are like, how do I use that? And it's people are replacing their search engines. Right. You know what I mean? It's a new way to search. It's a new way to get information and it's personalized and you can make it even more personalized and make it more applicable to what you need. So I, I actually think on the bell curve, we are moving up really fast, but I, I, I would probably say it's not gonna have the same death cycle as maybe other technologies might have. I think it's got a longer runway than most other technologies. 